Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Coming up today on FST News, Harvey, Irma, Maria. It seems like they just won't stop. But what is a hurricane? And something big is coming to Foothill this week. Find out what it means to us. Start with breaking news this morning. That's right, the results are in. Please cast your votes. Okay, that passes 7-0. Thank you very much, trustees. With that vote, right there, Foothill High School was told by the Clark County School District Board of Trustees that school officials can drug test students at the cost of $10 per person. The drug testing policy has positively had a reaction on this campus. It's no secret that school is planning to drug test all students who are part of an athletic team or a traveling organization, including us here at FST News. In fact, Channel 13 was near campus in the week earlier in the week to cover the new policy. Sophomore Cole Trickle spoke briefly at the board meeting. Drug testing is not only the right way to go in our efforts to identify and treat substance abuse where we find it, but it also provides students with another reason to resist drug use and yet another refusal strategy to use when we're offered drugs. Foothill High School was required to seek consent from the CCSD Board of School Trustees. That meeting was last night at the regularly scheduled board meeting. There's been a back and forth discussion about this policy. Parents, students, and former students alike even voiced their opinions on social media. Many took the position that they liked the policy. Others wrote that if the school wants to drug test, then the school should pay for it. Parent Sean Thewison says many people have the wrong information. When I've talked to parents and students uh, from Foothill, they've been mostly supportive of this issue. Even the ones that were initially not supportive after you got the correct information to them, they were actually supportive. And I think we've all seen some of the, some of the news articles or stories uh, about this uh, drug program where the information has just not been correct. So you have the correct information, obviously, that's been presented to the board. Um, this is going to be a successful program. The trustees unanimously approved the testing, citing the policies at Green Valley, Coronado, and Mojave High Schools. Stay with FST News for the latest on the new drug enforcement policy. Texas, Florida, Puerto Rico. We've seen, that, we've seen the devastation that hurricanes can cause, but what, why do they happen? Reporter Jack Halovich tells us more. Winds up to 80 miles per hour, massive flooding, and rainstorms of truly hellish proportions. In the last two months, the USA has seen Hurricanes Harvey and Irma hit our coasts. And with the most recent storm of Maria hitting Puerto Rico, do people actually know what a hurricane is? FST News spoke to geoscience teacher Kara Schreiner about what these massive storms actually are. So a hurricane is a large storm that's formed usually off of the west coast of Africa from the really um, warm water. And what happens is that warm water evaporates and it evaporates quickly. And all of that water, when it evaporates, turns into clouds, it condenses. And those clouds, because the water's so warm by the equator, the wind starts um, spinning them. So it spins and spins and spins, and all that warm water keeps feeding into that storm to make it more massive. With every new storm rocking the south and east coast, callbacks remain to Hurricane Katrina. We asked Schreiner how these recent storms compared to what she remembers of it. Um, I was in high school when Katrina happened, so um, I think thinking back to that, um, the devastation seems to be about the same. I don't think Irma was as catastrophic as they thought it was going to be, but Harvey for sure. While hurricane season is nearly over, the damage has been done and recovery efforts are in full swing. This has been Jack Halvich from Mark Benitez, FST News. Thanks, Jack. Foothill High School has adopted Orange Field High School down in Texas. Harvey ruined them and they have nothing. They're using tarps as classroom walls in their gym this week. Our his this week, our history department is having a donation drive for the teachers of Orange Field High in Texas. You can give your donations to teacher Amy Clark in room 730 or give them to your history teacher. Remember, everything helps. Here at Foothill, we're all different, but that's a good thing. Our differences make us unique and our uniqueness makes our school wonderful. 
And in celebration of our uniqueness, Foothill is having a week of respect. On Monday, try introducing yourself to someone new and sitting with someone new at lunch or inviting someone to sit with you at lunch. On Tuesday, nominate a staff member for the October Faculty and Support Staff of the Month on the Foothill website and tell your teachers what you appreciate about them. On Wednesday, make sure you pick up any trash you see around campus and go to the, girl, the boys soccer game here at the Hill. On Thursday, wear blue and post your pictures with hashtag Foothill Get Your Blue On and hashtag CCSD Get Your Blue On. And on Friday, wear pink and make sure you go to the varsity football game. And if you get caught participating in our week of respect, you could get raffle tickets to win gift cards for places like In-N-Out, Starbucks, and the movies. It's time to vote, and you don't even have to be 18 to vote in this election. The school organizational student elections are going on. Congrats to all the students in the running. To vote, visit fstnews.com and search SOT elections for the link to the page. Today is the last day to get your homecoming tickets for $20. Starting next week, they'll be $30, and they only go up from there, so get them fast. Blue, gold, and pink after the break. Sports is here telling you everything you need to know about athletics here at the Hill. And we have a special guest on our show today. Find out who and when we come back. FST News, real news, real time. This is FST News giving you real news in real time. Make sure to catch us every day live at 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. at fstnews.com. What's up, Falcons? If you ever attended a game here at the Hill or anywhere across the valley, you may have noticed a slight hint of pink amongst the uniforms. This is because once a season, Falcon athletes deck out in this bright shade to bring awareness to breast cancer. Our soccer teams have a pink game coming up Wednesday against our rival, Basic Academy, so why not come out and support our teams as they kick Basic and Cancer's butt? The battle starts at 3 p.m. Thanks, guys. This week with me is Falcon Friends President Isabel Mendez. So, Isabel, what exactly is Falcon Friends? So Falcon Friends is a club here at Foothill where we get to interact with the kids with disabilities and we become friends with them and give them the ha same high school experience as we do because they don't have the, social, the same social skills that we do, so we want to give them that skill. And what is your guys' goal for this year? Um, this year is to expand more and do more with them because we feel like just doing small lunches with them is not good, like not good. <laughs> so we... Sorry. So our goal this year is to expand more and do more with them because not doing small lunches with them is not really creating a friendship. So what we want to do is take them out more and like to go to sports games or like the dances. And why did you guys change the name of the club? So last year we were best buddies, but this year we changed it to Falcon Friends. So we are more personal and it's more community and so we wanted it, the friends to like connect to Foothill more than just an international thing. So it, we want them to connect with our school better. And what are the benefits of joining this club? So the benefits are for us, it's to learn how to interact with these disabilities in the real world because you can't escape it. There's one out of so many people, sorry. So are the benefits of this is for us it's to um, learn how to interact with these disabilities and for them it's um, to gain the social skills so it benefits both of us. Cool and for the next 24 hours if you guys follow Falcon Friends on Twitter you can you can have the chance to win a raffle they are picking one winner for a $25 gift card for any store or restaurant of your choosing. Angela Ariel back to you. Thanks, Jocelyn, and that's all the news we have for you today. From all of us here at FST News, see you have a fantastic rest of your Friday.